And just take a couple shoulder rolls, releasing them back and down. Let the shoulders stay gently back and down and take a couple little neck circles as if you're circling with the nose. Just gentle. Other way. Bring your head to center, closing the eyelids, let both sitting bones drop. And begin to notice sounds in your environment. Can you extend the ears to hear the farthest sound? You don't have to identify the sound, but just listen. And become aware of sounds that are closer to the body now. Notice sounds that might even exist inside the body. Breath in the lungs, the heartbeat. Begin to deepen your natural breath. Breathing into the belly. As you inhale, let your belly fill and expand on the sides and even your low back. And on your exhales, let it all gently deflate. Contract the throat slightly so you can hear your breath. Ujjayi. And as you breathe like this, you might also feel the ribs expanding and contracting. Let that happen. You might feel the collarbones ever so slightly widening at the top of the inhales. Close the eyes for a moment, dropping into the breath. And see if you can make this breath really smooth. Maybe each breath lasts for six, seven, or eight seconds. And can you invite a sense of peace or calm on the breath? Listen to the sound of your breath sounding like the ocean. Keep developing this breath as you bring the palms together at heart center, lifting the chest, bowing the head. What intentions might you have for this practice today? And 
And as you set your intentions, let go of the outcome. And on your next exhale, begin to fold. Bringing the hands to the knees. Let your elbows jut out to the sides. Knees might separate a tiny bit, just giving space for the belly. Let your head hang. And you might stay right here and breathe, or if it's comfortable, you can let the hands glide down towards the feet. Your breath might be able to access the back of your body more here. Really let the head hang. Bring the hands back to the knees. Slowly pressing up. And taking slow circles around with the torso. Really get into all those little nooks and crannies as you go forward to the sides. When you go back, really open the back of the heart and the shoulder blades. You're massaging internal organs, but you're also massaging the spine. And all of the nerves that come off of the spine. go the other way. There's so much happening in yoga that as instructors we often just give one thing that's happening because there's there's too many to list them all. One more circle. Bring the spine to center. Now take smaller circles a little bit faster. creating energy in the spinal column, Sushumna. Now inhale, sit up nice and tall and hold the breath, hold your inhale. Exhale out through the mouth. Inhale, imagine you're inhaling up the spine. Hold the breath. Exhale out through the mouth. Imagine your breath releasing down to the tailbone. Inhale, breath moves up the spine. Exhale. Three more. Let the lips gently close, breathing in and out through the nose. Come back to your ujjayi.
And let's come up to standing. We'll come up standing a little bit earlier today. Bringing the chair up to the front of your mat. Let the seat face away from you. Good. And bring your palms together at heart center. And today, let your fingers be wide. So when you do this, you have a marma point right in the center of the hand. And when you stretch the hands and the, the fingers open, what you want to feel is that this is lightly stretching. You don't want to stretch so far that you actually feel that you're stressing this point because then you're going to stress the heart a little bit, but you want them to be wide enough that you can feel a little stretch, a little opening happening in the center of the palms and then they're together. Yeah, it's a little bit more energizing. And bring this to the heart. And pick a spot in front of you, a gaze point, a drishti point that you can return to here again and again. You still have your breath. Soften the eyes on the gaze point. Instead of gazing from the fronts of the eyeballs, gaze from behind the head through the lens of the eyes. And opening your consciousness. We'll move through a few sun salutations, honoring the life-giving sun. Inhale as you sweep the arms out and up. Exhale, hands come together, passing down through the center line of the body and they release at the bottom. Good, inhale as if you're gathering energy or you're honoring that sun, exhale, bring it down. Now, as you do this, press down through all four corners of the feet. You might feel the rib cage stretch a little bit. As you reach up, press down to get taller. On this next exhale, we'll fold. As you hinge at the hips, let your hands come down to the back of the chair. Your heart is folding towards the back of the chair. Let the head bow. The back of my chair is right about at my neck, at my collarbone. So you might have to shift your feet back if you are really close to the chair. When you're ready, press the hands down into the chair a little bit, just lengthening your spine so you're kind of um, parallel to the floor. Shoulders are gliding back. You're pressing down through the feet. Your tailbone is reaching back and the crown of your head is reaching forward. Whole spine is lengthening. Inhale with me. Exhale, gently fold again. Tiny bend in the knees as you shift your weight back. Inhale, reaching out and up. Beautiful. Palms touch. Exhale them to the heart center. Again, inhale, reaching out and up. Exhale, gently hinge, folding. Hands touch the chair, bow the head. Inhale, flat back, lengthening from tailbone to crown. Exhale, gently fold. Inhale, reaching out and up. Palms touch, bring them to the heart. Inhale, out and up. Exhale, folding. Inhale, flat back. 
This time, exhale, walk your feet back into downward dog. Reaching back through the tailbone, stretching out the spine, let your heart and head melt down towards the mat. Let your breath remain slow and deep, nourishing the body. On your next inhale, ride your inhale as you walk up into a flat back. Exhale, folding. Inhale, reaching out and up. Palms touch, exhale them to the heart. Inhale, out and up. Exhale, bowing down. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, walk back into down dog. Just walk it out this time, bending one knee and then the other, leaning the hips side to side. Now bend both knees. Draw your left heel towards your right foot. So your left foot is at a 45 degree angle. Lean on it. Step your right foot up to the chair, bending into the front knee. Press down through both feet. Tuck your tailbone, lift your heart as you inhale, reaching up into warrior one. You can bend the elbows and let your wide fingers touch over the head. Soften your eyes at the gaze point. See if you can relax into the legs for one last breath. Slowly release the arms all the way to the chair. Come onto the ball of your back foot and step back, downward dog, walk it out again. Bending both knees. Draw your right heel towards your left foot. Lean on to your right foot. Step your left foot up to the chair, bending into that front knee. Press into both feet. Tuck your tailbone, lift your heart, reaching the arms out and up. Maybe the wide fingers touch, you can bend the elbows. Your heart is shining forward and it's lifting ever so slightly. As the heart lifts, the backs of the shoulders might drop a tiny bit. You might draw the back of the head ever so slightly backwards towards the back wall. Slowly release the arms, bringing the hands back to the chair. Come on to the ball of the back foot. Step back, downward dog. Open the feet a tiny bit wider this time, letting your heels jut out a little bit more than your toes. Head and heart hang.
On an inhale, gazing forward, release the feet, walk them all the way up into a flat back. Exhale, bowing the head. Shift your weight a little bit back to inhale, reach out and up. Palms touch. Exhale them to heart center. Beautiful. Sit down in your chair for a moment. We're going to open up the wrists and the hands. So we're doing a little bit of up and down today. You can do this standing if you prefer. Take your left hand forward. And now draw the pinky back as you reach or relax the rest of the fingers forward. Ring finger. Middle finger. Pointer finger. Keep breathing. To do the thumb, you're gonna turn your thumb so it's facing up Draw it back. Take the whole hand. That left hand is like a stop sign. Gather all of the fingers. Draw them back as you reach forward through the heel of the hand. Release. Let your fingers face down. Take your thumb and press it into the heel of the hand where your hand and your wrist meet. So you're gonna press that part forward and then you're going to draw the fingers and the hand towards you. So you can kind of see I'm pressing forward with my thumb and I'm drawing back with my fingers. Release, circle this left wrist. Shake it out. Now just flip both hands up and notice the difference between each hand. Other side, reach your right hand forward. Draw the pinky back as you draw the rest of the fingers forward. Take a breath. Ring finger. Middle finger. Pointer finger. Thumb. Stop sign. Draw all of the fingers back as you press forward through the heel of the hand. Let it face down. Draw the fingers back as you reach forward through the back of the wrist. If your thumb, if this feels wonky, having your thumb here, you can always just pull the fingers back a little bit as you press forward. Roll it out. It might feel a tiny bit sore. It, it really might. I can feel mine a little bit in some certain areas. Shake it out. Shake them both out. 
Let it rise up over the head. Let them both flip up. Close the eyelids and notice the energy in the hands and the wrists. Interlace the fingers together. Open your feet wide. Sit back in your chair. Feet are wide, knees are wide. Turn the hands inside out. You're spreading through the fingers a little bit as you reach the hands forward. Inhale. Exhale. Start to reach them over the head. Leaning to one side. Leaning to the other side. Coming to center, release the hands. Bring the hands to the knees. Elbows jut out to the sides. Fingers are in the inner thigh. Start to lean it forward. You're pressing the knees open a little bit as you lean forward. Breathe down into the hips. When you're ready, start to trace the shape of a U. Dipping down through center, reaching the heart up and over to the side. Kind of like the shape of a horseshoe. The next time that you move over to the left, Stay there. Your heart is facing left. You're going to press a little bit more into this right knee and then press down through your left hand. You're helping yourself twist. Stay here or wiggle those right fingers. Bring the right arm to face the left wall. Twisting a tiny bit deeper. Start to reach these right fingers up to the sky. Open your heart, rotate it up to the sky. Little counter twist. Your right shoulder starts to reach down towards the ground. Release, sweep the right fingers all the way down to the floor and over to the right knee. Lengthening your heart over to the right Pressing into both knees. Wiggle your left fingers that are behind you and reach them forward towards the wall, towards the right wall. You are still breathing. Good, start to reach this left hand up towards the ceiling your heart starts to rotate up towards the ceiling. Now your right hand is pressing down. You can even have the forearm down if that's more comfortable. Start to draw your left shoulder blade down towards the ground. Release, let your heart face downwards. Sweep this left hand down all the way over to the left knee. Take one more horseshoe shape. Side to side. Pausing at the middle. Stay right here, folding, or bring the hands all the way down. Let your head release. Stay here, notice. Wherever you send the breath with your mind, it will go. 
If you send the breath to the hips, it will try to reach the hips. If you send it to the low back, it will try to reach the low back. If you send it to the upper back, it will find space there. Take one more breath here. And very slowly, when you're ready, begin to roll up. Good. Inch your feet back together. And we'll come to standing one more time. This time, we'll have the chair facing us and we're going to open the feet wide. So feel free to turn sideways on your mat if you'd like, or if your feet feel okay on whatever surface is wider than your mat, then you can have it at the top. Wide fingers, let your wide fingers, I love you guys, you're so cute, bring your wide fingers down to the seat of the chair. Now I want you to be at a comfortable um, distance from your chair. So I'm just gonna stand here for a moment. So I'm not so close up to the chair that my hands wanna be at the back. I'm, my feet are maybe, you know, a foot away from the chair legs and they're wider than the chair legs. Good, now start to bend into one knee, leaning to one side. And then the other side. Opening the inner line of each leg. Feet are parallel. Bring your body to center. Turn your toes in ever so slightly and gently fold. Let your sitting bones reach back a little bit as your forearms come down or maybe your head comes down. If you press a little bit into the feet and draw the kneecaps up, you might feel this opening the hips a tiny bit more. Inhale, pressing into the hands, coming into a flat back. Let your feet release to parallel. Your left hand comes right underneath your heart. Reach your right arm up to the sky. On an exhale, bring it all the way down, replacing the spot where your left hand was. Reach the left arm up. You're twisting to the side. Unwind, bringing both hands down. Bend the knees. Arms open wide to the sides, leaning side to side. Beautiful, last one. Bring it to center, bring both hands down, heel toe your feet together. Inhale, reaching out and up. Palms touch, bringing them to the heart.
Bring the chair up to the front of your mat with the seat facing you. Last little piece here before Shavasana. Flowing through our sun salutation, this time with the chair facing us. Inhale, reaching out and up. And exhale, gently bowing. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, downward dog. Really let the head go. Bending the knees. Draw your left heel towards your right foot. Lean on it. Step your right foot up to the chair, bending into the front knee. Press down through both feet as you tuck the tailbone. Inhale, reaching out and up. Palms touch. Find your gaze point. Sink into the hips and feet. Take one inhale with me as you stretch up, maybe even lift the gaze up. With control, exhale down. Step back, downward dog. Stay right here or inhale into high plank. Exhale, drop the hips. Bend the elbows, inhale, lift the heart, press down through the hands, up dog. When you're ready, down dog. Bend the knees. Draw your right heel towards your left foot. Lean on to the right foot. Step your left foot up. Press into both feet, inhale, tuck the tailbone, lift the heart, reach the arms out and Sinking into the feet, sinking in the shoulders, lifting through the heart. One inhale, stretch up, lift the gaze. One exhale takes you all the way back into downward dog. Stay here or inhale high plank. Exhale, drop the hips. Inhale, lifting the heart into up dog. When you're ready, down dog. Really relax into this pose. What can you let go of? On your next inhale, walk the feet up into a flat back. Exhale, bowing down. Take a moment here. See if you can let the forehead touch the chair. You might have to bend the knees a little bit to do so. Pressing into the feet, ride your inhale out and up. Nice and slow, palms touch. Exhale them down to heart center. Remembering any intentions that you may have set. Lifting the heart and bowing the head. When you're ready, you 
you can release. And we'll come into our resting pose, Shavasana. You can rest in the chair or you can lie down. Get comfy and I'll lead you through a little bit of breath and a little bit of body scanning, rotation of consciousness. You're welcome to completely tune me out for this portion. Otherwise, you can follow my voice. Once you've come into your resting pose, just Scan the body and notice if there are any areas that need to be adjusted. And just adjust those so they're comfortable. Notice the areas where your body is resting into the chair or the floor. And invite those places in the body to get a little heavier. To sink. And take a few slow breaths, just smoothing out your energy. Let the eyelids close. Let your breath become completely natural. We'll do a little bit of rotation of consciousness, body awareness and then we'll rest in silence. Draw your attention to the brow point, center of the forehead. The right temple, left temple, right ear, left ear, center of the throat, right collarbone, left collarbone, right shoulder, right elbow, wrist, tip of the right thumb, tip of the pointer finger, tip of the middle finger, tip of the ring finger, tip of the pinky. Feel the whole right hand. Feel the whole right arm. Noticing the left shoulder left elbow, wrist, tip of the left thumb, tip of the pointer finger,
tip of the middle finger, tip of the ring finger, tip of the pinky. Feel the whole left hand. Feel the whole left arm. And feel both arms together. Both arms together. Right chest. Left chest. Right abdomen. Left abdomen. Pelvis. Right hip. Right knee. Ankle. Tip of the right big toe. Tip of the second toe. Tip of the third toe. Tip of the fourth toe. Tip of the pinky toe. Feel the whole right foot. Feel the whole right leg. Left hip. Left knee. Ankle. Tip of the left big toe. Tip of the second toe. Tip of the third toe. Tip of the fourth toe. Tip of the pinky toe. Feel the whole left foot. Feel the whole left leg. Feel both legs together. Both legs together. Notice the crown of the head. the bottoms of the feet. Feel the whole body from top to bottom and from bottom to top. Feel your whole body Feel the space directly around the body. Your clothing touching the body. Air touching the body. This space directly around you. Allow the space around you to hold you, protect you, be a comfort to you. We'll rest here for a few more minutes.
and gently deepening your breath. Wiggling fingers and toes. You're always welcome to stay here longer. You can make your way back to seated. Let's bring the palms together and rub them against each other. And let them face forward, sending good energy to everyone for this practice today. Send a few blessings of your own into this group. And let's inhale together. Hold the breath. Exhale through the mouth. Bring the palms together at heart center. One last time, remembering any intentions you set. And notice if you'd like to keep them or if you'd like to create new ones. Let's seal this practice with the sound of Aum. You can just listen or you can join in with me. Inhale for Om. Uh... The light in me bows to the light in you. Namaste. Good job, everyone.